I am doing it. I'm finally making a altcoin video. This is the first altcoin video I've made in maybe two years. It's been a it's been a very long time, but I do think now's the time to talk about altcoins. If this is truly a bull market, I mean, we have a ETF that just came out. We have a halving that just came out three out of three times after a halving. We have gone up significantly. We do have reasons to go down in the sense that in the macro aspect, what are the stock market crashes, this and that. We have equal lows, much lower down for Bitcoin. We have inefficiencies for Bitcoin, much lower down. There are all these X factors telling me that, okay, there's a case for the downside. There's also a case for the upside. But as of right now, the case for the upside is a lot more than the case for the downside. For me, at least, this is my opinion. I do think there's a high probability we go up. And at the end of the day, it's all about probabilities, which leads me to believe that, okay, now maybe the time to look at all coins. Um, I, I'll make a video on Bitcoin about uh, seasons and how Bitcoin moves on season, seasonal, quarterly, quarterly seasons. And that'll be, I think in the next video, I'll talk about that more in detail and why there's a high probability of going towards the upside. But now I thought, you know, I'm looking at all coins right now. Let's take a look at an all coin that's very popular. And this is Cardano. And Will, will you take a look at this? Cardano is making something very interesting for a bull. If you are a bull and you are looking to buy Cardano, uh, well, I am all right now. I'm taking a look at Cardano for a buying opportunity if it gives me bullish momentum off this level. This is a good buying opportunity for me. I'll be taking a look at Cardano at these levels. Now, the reason I'm making this video on Cardano is because I was at the gym. My friend Omar, he he called me up and he's like, listen, man, I, want, I need to make money. I need to make some extra money. Uh, do you recommend I buy Cardano? And I was like, okay, I'll take a look at Cardano for you. I took a look at Cardano for him and I was like, wow, Cardano is making something interesting. I also took a look at Cardano for the guys on my group that wanted me to take a look at Cardano. And I was like, wow, Cardano is doing something really interesting. So I thought, why not put this video out on YouTube and see if you guys appreciate this. If you guys want me to do all coin analysis as well, uh, leave a comment below and I'll do an all coin analysis. And if you guys like videos like this, subscribe if you haven't already. 13% of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed to the channel. So please do subscribe and hit the like button. Now, when price moves from a smart money concept uh, perspective, I am the only SMC trader on YouTube that is, I would say, uh, decent. When, smart, when price moves from a smart money concept perspective, smart money only likes to buy at discounts and they like to sell at premiums. This is common sense for a lot of people, but a lot of people don't do this. What do I mean by this? People like to buy price at discount and when we go out at a premium, which is a higher level, people like to offload their positions. Very, very simply put, the people that are buying low offload their positions to the people that are buying higher. In this case, when Cardano was at 60 cents, or sorry, 5 cents, 10 cents, this was a beautiful buying opportunity. When Cardano went up to $3, $2, $2.50, this was a beautiful time selling opportunity for the people that bought at a discount. Likewise, when you make a move towards the upside, we have to look at reasons as to why we could go towards the upside. All right. So there's two points to Cardano. The first point is we want to buy at a discount. We want to look at it from a smart money perspective. Secondly, why does price want to move towards the upside? Right. Why, why does price want to go towards the upside? And I'm going to be talking about both these points today. Right now, Cardano, if you take a look at this from this swing low to this swing high, Cardano went down to a discount. This is where smart money buys at discounts. That discount level was a 0.5. When we came down, we had clear rejection of the 0.5, which was at 23 cents. Now that we bounced off the discount zone, uh, what did we specifically make at the discount zone? We made something very specific, specific and peculiar. The structure we made is a double bottom or a breaker double bottom. It is not just any double bottom. It is a breaker double bottom. A breaker double bottom is basically when the left shoulder is higher than the right shoulder. The right shoulder indicates that we've taken out liquidity below the left shoulder. And we tend to break towards the upside. This is a very bullish uh, structure to have, especially if you take out liquidity. When the right shoulder or the right bottom, I should say in this in scenario, if it's lower than the left bottom, this is extremely bullish because sell side liquidity, the people that were putting the stop losses below the left shoulder, their liquidity has been taken and we pushed towards the upside. We also made something quite peculiar on the upside. The structure we made towards the upside, exa exactly like the structure we made towards the downside, the structure we made towards the upside is a double top, the left shoulder and the right shoulder, the right shoulder being higher than the left shoulder. Again, this is a very powerful reversal structure. We've done it two out of two times in the past and two out of two times in the past when we made this powerful reversal structures, we have had big moves towards the downside or the upside on monthly aspects. This move from the downside towards the upside, the duration was many months, if not two years. The move from the upside towards the downside cost us many months, if not a faster year by now. Likewise, we are doing the exact same thing right now. We have come to a discount. 
which is the 0 0.5, we have made something called a double bottom. Again, not just any double bottom. A breaker double bottom where the right sh bottom is lower than the left bottom. This is a powerful reversal structure for Cardano. The second thing I want to point out is, are we really bullish for Cardano on the monthly aspect? Yes. The reason why I say we are bullish is because if you examine these levels over here, we were making a series of lower highs on the way towards the downside. The moment we broke above this high at 45 cents is the moment we had a market structure shift towards the upside, right? Cardano is officially bullish on the monthly aspect. We are no longer making a series of low highs and lower lows. We finally have made a higher high on the right hand side. The second thing I spoke to you guys about is, okay, yes, we want to buy at a discount. Now, why do we want to go towards the upside? We are officially in a discount. We bounced off the 23 cent zone. We made a bullish structure in the sense that we made a double bottom. We have a higher high. Now, why do we want to go to the upside? What is our incentive to go towards the upside? Is there a reason to go up there? We have two reasons to go up there, if not three reasons to go up there. If we take a liquidity from the upside, why does price want to go anywhere? Price wants to go anywhere because of liquidity, right? When we had this move towards the downside from $1.24, we left behind something quite interesting. What we left behind are equal highs on the monthly aspect. Just above that, what we left behind as well, right above those equal highs, is an inefficiency, which is a three candle pattern. If you look at the third candle, it did not go up and touch the bottom of the first candle. This is an inefficiency or fair value gap where price likes to run towards. And of course, the last target for Cardano is the all time high for Cardano. Above each of these levels are sell stops. Above each of these levels are stop losses. Above each of these levels are liquidity. This is our incentive to go towards the upside. So again, the first thing I said is smart money buys at a discount. We bounce off the 0.5. Do we have a structure break, which is number two? Yes, we made a higher high. Number three, is this a uh, reversal structure? Yes, the first time we made the structure was on the left-hand side. We made a big move towards the upside. The second time we made the same structure was a double top breaker, which is a big move towards the downside. The third time we made the structure is a double bottom breaker which is potentially a big move towards the upside, I don't know yet. Now, this brings me to my third question. What are the levels to buy at if we make such a structure? To understand the levels we can buy at, well, I'm taking a look at buying at, and my friend Omar, I'm gonna tell him to buy it. If he wants to buy it, he's more than welcome to do so. My family members, if they wanna buy Cardano, they're more than welcome to do so. If they wanna follow my moves, they're more than welcome to do so. I am profitable. So if they wanna follow and make money off with me, then they're more than welcome to do so. None of this is financial advice for the guys that are watching this video, okay, by the way. Now, when we break above a double top, we want to look at a back test of the candles. Which candles? Oh, sorry, a double bottom. In this scenario, all the green candles on the left shoulder is an entire support zone. This support zone is ranging from 10 cents all the way to 25 or 2 cents in this scenario. In this scenario, Cardano is at 10 cents. Upon the back test of this area, any of this entire zone can hold as support. Okay? Likewise, when you look at a double top or a breaker double top, where the left sh right shoulder is higher than the left shoulder, we wanna mark off the entire green candle on the left shoulder. This entire level is running up from, this entire level is running up from a dollar and three cents for this double top, all the way to $2.50. This entire level is acting as resistance. This is a good area to short from. As you can clearly see, we back test this area and we had strong resistance and we pushed the price down. Now we look at our current level. Again, I'm marking off the left candle, the large left candle on the left-hand side, and the bottom of the left candle. This entire area is a strong support zone, and this zone ranges from 40 cents or 39 cents all the way to 24 cents. If Cardano comes down below 39 cents and does bullish things on the daily aspect, I am taking a look at a buy. Let's say I just mark off 39 cents from the swing low to our first incentive. As I said, the first incentive was the first equal highs on the monthly aspect. This was my first incentive for price to move. If Cardano goes from 39 cents all the way up to my first incentive, this is a 220% move towards the upside. If Cardano goes up to my second incentive, which was that 
FVG, as I marked off right over here. This is where liquidity is. This is our reason to go up, right? From here to there, this move towards the upside would be a 340% move towards the upside. And our last area, which is the all-time high for Cardano, which stop loss will be, sell stops, liquidity will be, this is a 700% move towards the upside from 39 cents. I am looking at this from a buy, depending upon if Cardano gives me bullish momentum on the daily aspect. This is the monthly chart I'm taking a look at, but if you come down here and give me daily, daily bullish market structure, I'll be taking a look at a buy off these levels, all right? So this is my entire video. If you guys enjoy things like this, feel free to check out the Discord. Subscribe if you haven't already. 13% of people that watch these videos are not subscribed to the channel. Hit the like button. If you guys want me to talk about any more altcoins, leave a comment in the comment section below. I might do an altcoin video maybe once a week for the members over here. I'm strictly going to be focusing on Bitcoin, but every now and then I'll talk about Cardano. Not Cardano, but altcoins in general. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, check it out. I do call out live trades on the Patreon. I do altcoin analysis twice a week for members. I do 10 altcoins a week for members over there. And I also have a full educational course. If you guys are interested, check that out. Thank you and have a good one.